For DJO reverse um, implants, it's really kind of changed the way that I look at that operation. Early in my career um, doing reverse shoulder arthroplasty, I felt like it was a revision type operation. And I was concerned about the longevity of it because we're changing the anatomy. You go from where you have kind of a normal ball and socket joint to reversing that where you have a ball on one side and a cup on the other. And there's early studies showing that maybe those implants could get loose over time and that you could have some decreased function after five to 10 years of use of that shoulder. Whereas DJO has a more anatomic based reverse where the tension where you put the, the shoulder together is much more based on anatomic parameters and the range of motion I think that you get from that is much better. So I'm much more comfortable doing that operation and knowing the longevity of it than I am with, with other implants.